All right, welcome back. Anambra government moves against Pastor Onyeze Jesus issues statements. All right, the news in detail. The Anambra state comment through its commissioner for information and public enlightenment, Don Adinoba, has moved against what they tag criminal conduct by Pastor Onyeze Jesus. In a statement signed by the commissioner and released by Anambra Broadcasting Service, the government explained that they will take actions to immediately end the activities of any criminal element that parade themselves as pastors. All right, and then according to what has been gathered, the statement reads, one, the Anambra state government is in possession of some videos produced by one person who goes by the name of Onyeze Jesus, based in Mpo Ndemili North local government area of the state, where he not only claims to change the economic status of his adherents by magical means, but also throws a lot of Nigerian's currency notes into the river and compels his adult followers both male and female to bathe naked in the river and records them on video which he distributes gleefully to all manner of people through the internet and other means two the state government is appalled at the conduct of this man Anambra people are famous throughout the world for their industry, knowledge, ingenuity, perseverance, a high savings rate, and an infectious business drive, all combined to enable them to achieve tremendous success in various fields. Their success is not overnight, nor true magic. Three, only the Jesus promotes superstition, superstition and strife in society by telling his gullible and brainwashed followers that their misfortune is caused by family members, relatives, friends, and business associates through magical powers. He is fomenting serious troubles and instigating eternal enmity in various places and businesses. Some of these troubles can lead to physical fights, bodily injuries, and even death. Number four, by throwing plenty of Nara notes into the river regularly as part of sacrifice to the river goddess and filming, filming it and distributing the film to the whole world, he has brought Anambra State into global ridicule and was gregariously committed a criminal offense. Burning or destroying the Naira through any means is an offense criminalized by the Central Bank of Nigeria Act of 2007 and the offender is liable to imprisonment. Number five, by forcing his disciples to have a bat naked in a river, then filmed the naked adult and distribute the videos across the globe only as Jesus is guilty of denying his followers the right to self-dignity and of promoting indecent exposure, which is a crime under the Nigerian law. We have received reports from former disciples, former disciples that only as Jesus has swindled them of their hard-earned resources that is all the promises and assurances of turning them into overnight millionaires have proved to be fraudulent the state government is looking into the claims if we find merit in the claims he will be prosecuted in accordance with the law seven the people and government of hanambra state are irrevocably committed to fundamental rights of freedom of worship and freedom of association as well as freedom of conscience however observing these freedoms should not lead to a situation where 
heinous crimes will be carried out with impunity, whether in the name of religion or not. All right, and then number eight, Anambra State is a modern society governed by the rule of law, civilized values, and proper conduct. The government will not stand akimbo watching while an individual or a handful of individuals flagrantly abuse its values and flout its laws. Nine, we, we, we wish to thank numerous individuals and organizations alarmed at the conduct and claims of Oyeze Jesus and his cohorts and, and complained accordingly to the appropriate authorities. We assure them and millions of our people that an appropriate action is being taken. The government also promised to look into the complaints of youth who claim to have been scammed by the popular pastor. All right, and then this had been said so far. All right, okay. Well, a lot of things have been said. In fact, most especially on Facebook, you get to see the video of this pastor being displayed while he's performing his you no. Know, Prayers, according to what he has said so far. All right, okay, on this one, it has been said that Anambra government moves against Pastor Oyeze. Jesus issues statements. All right, and on to this one, there's been a lot of you know, comments on this, and a lot of people have reacted in different ways on to this one. All right, according to Monique, Monique has said that well, Anambra state government should do the needful arrest and prosecute him for misleading and defrauding people. What the rogue is doing is a complete fraud. Ndigo are known as a very hardworking people, so someone who is a froster can't dent our image. It cannot happen. I love my Anambra state so much and we cannot allow this in Anambra state. All right, okay, and then this has been said so far on this one. And then meanwhile, according to Olu Gukalu, he has said that, well, as long as he didn't kill or steal anybody, government should allow him to continue with his fate. Many of the Nigerian politicians are entering many places that even worse than Oyeze Jesus. Okay, and the guests have said that, well, this move is long overdue. All right, a lot of comments have been coming in. Okay, meanwhile, someone has said that, Mumu government, please face your matter and leave the man alone. Does he force anybody to bait them in the river? Okay, and then that is it, my people, on this one. Meanwhile, let me have your take on this one. And remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.